neuromuscular scoliosis in the presence of spina bifida occulta and a transitional lumbosacral vertebra. Common and minor birth defects, such as spina bifida occulta and lumbosacral transitional vertebra are largely asymptomatic and overlooked. However, it is important for clinicians to consider their potential impacts on spinal stability. Neuromuscular scoliosis NMS, is an abnormal lateral curvature of the spine that affects children with pre-existing neuromuscular conditions that are often complex to manage. The purpose of this case report is to describe the association of dual lumbosacral anomalies with complicated NMS. A 12-year-old boy was brought to the chiropractor by his mother for a consultation and possible care for the boy's back pain. Progressive scoliosis, and long-standing walking abnormality that worsened quickly in the past 12 months. His mother stated that the patient walked on the balls of his left foot instead of putting weight on the heel ever since he started learning to walk. He had visited several pediatricians and neurologists since childhood. No one had been able to solve his problems. Radiographs showed right thoracolumbar curve of Cobb angle 20 degrees, left pelvic obliquity, a cleft in the L5 and S1. An articulation of the transverse processes of L5 with the bilateral sacral ailey. The patient was diagnosed with NMS and functional leg length discrepancy attributed to SBO and a LSTV at L5 level. Multimodal chiropractic care and foot orthotics were used. After 18 months of interventions, normal spinal curve, heel-to-toe gait, and posture balance were retrieved successfully. Few reports have been published on the impacts of SBO along with LSTV upon the lumbosacral spine. This article will allow a better understanding of the potential impacts of these birth defects and considerable consequences they would have on the growing spine and, therefore, may help to alleviate their impacts.